Hello everyone, this is Jay. I am here to give you a little um, kind of quick in history of my planner journey. So first I just started out using a cozy calendar app um, to track my family's appointments and activities. And as you can see, you can um, scroll through the calendar. They have different um, different options. There's no school because of COVID right now. And um, you can print out the calendar. You can also make um, shopping lists and to-do lists. Um, you can meal plan, you can write in your in a journal, and it was very convenient because it was portable. I could take it with me on my phone, had it with me all the time, and my family could share it. Um, and then I really started thinking about doing a bullet journal, which is, um, it's a very kind of simplified, um, calendar. Uh, making lists and priorities and tasks and um, and then I saw on Pinterest people decorating them and um, I found Etsy stickers and Moleskine planners and quickly I figured out that I was um, really planning a lot of time drawing the pages uh, and the months and the weekly spreads and um, putting stickers in there but not really utilizing the planner of actually keeping track of my to-do lists or appointments um, I started looking into traditional planners um, that you can buy from the store like Erin Condren or Happy Planner and um, none of them exactly fit my needs or my style they were just too um, kind of cookie cutter and um, they also can get kind of expensive um, buying them from the store. So I started researching some stuff on Pinterest for free printables. Um, I printed out a bunch of monthly pages and weekly pages that I liked that were um, pretty and creative and I cut them all down to the size I wanted and I had them spiral bound at Staples and um, it was the size I wanted and it had a variety of decorations that I wanted and but once again this version only lasted a little while maybe three or four months before I realized I wasn't really using it um, like I should and it was it was kind of a lot to carry around um, it did get kind of heavy um, with all stickers and washi and etc included in it um, so I eventually just went right back to the cozy calendar because everybody could share it and like I said it's convenient right in my phone or on my computer or my laptop um, and it was just working out best and then I started hearing about digital planning and I searched a bunch of stuff on video on, I'm sorry on um, Pinterest and YouTube videos and <clears throat> There are a lot of free apps for digital planning. Um, a lot of them are geared towards um, the iOS or Apple system. And I'm not an Apple person. I am an Android phone user and I use um, a Windows Surface uh, laptop and a regular uh, HP or Dell desktop sometimes. And so the apps that um, most people were demoing were in GoodNotes or Keynote and um, those are only available for Apple. So I did find some other apps that um, were free um, and one was uh, OneNote. So I am giving this OneNote a try. Um, here's all my um, notes, the bullet points that I made um, to make this video and in one note you can make the lists <clears throat> you can include links to other websites um, it's basically a note-taking um, app and I have made um, a planner in it and this is my everything planner um, 
if I hop over here to the cover page, this is just a pretty page that I made that I can share later how I made it. And I, you can also insert links um, that are clickable and they jump you from page to page within your notebook. So this one, if I click on this line under April, it jumps me to my monthly layout calendar for the month of April. And if I click on the link under the week of the 13th, it jumps me to my weekly planner for the week of the 13th. And I have made um, a list here. Um, you can insert different um, tasks, um, appointments, and um, right here, um, put in day off um, that I have a day off coming up. And the background of this is all um, made in another app, which is called Metamoji. Metamoji is a PDF annotation tool, and the page you see here is a planner page that I built in Metamoji um, with uh, uh, different PNGs and JPEGs that I found. I'm going to add a new page here just to show you a couple of things. Um, you can put, press the plus button and you see you can add in a photo, a shape, an item. And so if I grab an item over here on the right is some items that I have built and saved. And, but there is a lot that are pre-loaded that come with the Metamoji. And so if you grab one, place it on your page you can reshape it and make it bigger you can move it around your page and then you can also add text on top of it so i'll just go ahead and type in something here happy birthday and that is how you basically add a picture or item and add some text and all of these items I found, like I said, free on the internet. And within Metamoji, you can um, place the images wherever you want. So I'll just show you how to grab one. If you go to your files, I'm just going to grab a picture here. Um, it's probably a JPEG or a PNG. Um, click on high resolution scooch it over to the side and then click on edit the image and then you just uh, resize it uh, move down the little handlebars uh, to wherever you want pick the area that you want to put in your on your page and when you got it the right shape that you want it you just um, go over and click done and then you can place the um, clip wherever you want in your document on your page and you click send to the back so then it's underneath all of your other pictures or PNGs and JPEGs that you have set down already once I have the weekly plan or whatever page it is I'm making or building all set and ready to go you can go over here and uh, save it to a file or you can um, save it to an application or send it to an application so you just click the send button and it, you can choose where you want to send it to and what I do is I send it over to OneNote so I'm going to click over here to OneNote and then you can see this is the page I built for this current week um, the one we were looking at before was for last for next week sorry um, and then all those pictures are under they're built in to the OneNote page so then I can type over them without them moving around so that's um, how I have started to build my planner. 
um, combining net emoji and OneNote, and it's satisfying my creativity, um, having it to be pretty, and also functionality with being able to uh, write, type in OneNote. So I hope you will join me again and continue watching these how-to videos for Android and thanks for watching!